so these these are the two main types that we have the um, base brackets and the anchor posts and this is our this is from our website and it's a little chart that says when to set them into concrete and when they should not when anchor posts should not be used and when base brackets should be used instead and I will include that link underneath the video in the comments as well so that everybody can access that. And Norm will discuss the, um, the two main types of anchoring that we do. Okay, so any, as Andy mentioned, there's two main groups of anchoring. There is the base brackets, um, which are intended to fasten the building to something, and the anchor posts, which I, I can't get the whole thing, but that has um, a partially flattened at the ends. And so the anchor posts are driven directly into the ground and the the hoop fits directly over top of that the the challenging part for anchor posts for the uh, majority of people is that the anchor posts have to be installed very consistently and very accurately for the structure to be straight um, when you hit a rock the anchor post will be deflected one way or another. That doesn't mean you can't use that, but it is definitely going to affect the positioning of, of the arch. If you have a small rock, it can, uh, you can usually hammer around it. Um, a bigger rock would have to be removed. I am always very cautious of advising people to cut anchor posts off. Uh, like if they have a big rock, if they can't excavate it, uh, you have to be very careful with how many anchor posts are actually cut off. The majority of our structures are with the base brackets. And we have two different sizes. This one, the bigger one is used for our three inch arches and the the other one is used for um, the smaller arches the the hoop fits directly over top of that and then there's a fastener that gets uh, into the side now these can be fastened to a beam which is anchored to the ground they can be fastened to the sill plate of a short wall they can be fastened to a concrete pad um, there's a lot of variation to that when you are anchoring to a base beam you've got the most amount of flexibility because the anchor the beam has to still be anchored but when you have the issue of rocks you can move the the anchoring one way or the other now usually though our anchor posts are not used in combination with a base beam um, people use the T-posts or the screw-in anchors simply because it gives them something, while well, it's both more economical and a little bit more flexible. The T-posts especially are extremely hard steel. So um, when you're dealing with small rocks, uh, you just hit it a little bit harder. Um, the key to T-posts working though for as an anchoring system is that one goes this way, the next one goes, they go back and forth like that. So they work against each other. This one wants to pull out this way. This one wants to pull out this way. So obviously that can go, they magnify the holding power. One thing I'm going to point out with the base brackets. So just as, as an example, let's say your building is 48 feet long. All of these, sit in a row all the way down and there's lag bolts that go through the hole through these two holes a 48 foot long building will have ideally a 48 foot one inch beam which means that this the last one on each corner is going to stick out 
So what you do is just turn the bracket like this on its side and you hit this spot with a hammer. It's not that hard. And then that just goes out straight like this. So now what you're gonna have happen is the last lag bolt goes in this way. This one goes in through, through this way and everything sits square. You don't want to have your beam sticking out too far past the building because if you're removing snow or whatever, there's a chance that that gets hit and that's gonna be a way bigger problem. The, um, the other reason that this, that this particular bracket is two inches like this and um, the smaller one is inch and a quarter, this one is for a three inch, we try to make the, the hoop come straight on here, but there's a certain of our models that lean more. So by having a little bit more wiggle room here, you just have uh, that accommodates everybody's. Now, um, yeah, as Andy is showing the, the, the bracket, uh, is fastened to the beam. One of the things that is important is that the bracket is in a little bit from the edge of the beam, because when the hoop goes over top of it, you don't want it even with the outside plane of the cover or the beam, I mean, because the cover would touch that, and especially if it's leaning a little bit, you are going to have a bit of a, an edge right there. So you want to make sure that that's in, you know, probably a finger width from the end so that, uh, you know, it, nothing's going to catch. But you don't want to have it too far because when ice comes sliding down the building, then it would come like this and create tear marks. So that in, in a nutshell just basically gives you some extra pointers on both choosing and how to properly use that use the anchoring but as i've said uh, probably a thousand times there's no such thing as too many anchors <laughs> well and there's quite a bit of information both on our website and in our new installation manual as well as we have some other videos about anchoring and installing the base brackets and everything as well on our YouTube channel so people can also have a look at that and just depending on how deep they want to go down the rabbit hole of anchoring <laughs> and so thank you very much yeah there are um, on the the video for anchoring a base beam and that's something that you can actually put in the search on our website um, there's just little subtle little things that that are important to keep in mind and that just come across much more clearly when they're demonstrated than me talking about it well and we we did have some questions from different people about ventilating, <laughs> ventilation and anchoring. And I hope that both of these videos have answered those questions for people. And if they have any more questions, they're always, you're always welcome to email us. And if you have other questions you'd like us to address on Coffee Time with Norm, feel free to email them in and we would love to discuss them and explain your, as, explain away your confusion. <laughs> and so we're, we're excited to have this opportunity to be able to connect because we, we've had comments from people all the way from BC out to Nova Scotia about the, the video from last week. So we're excited to have this feature and connect to people since we can't visit, visit with everybody at trade shows this year. So this is a wonderful way that we get to connect. And so I'm, I'm grateful that we've been able to start this. So thank you, Norm, for sharing your information and your experience with everything because your, your tips have been very valuable and helpful to people. So thank you. My pleasure and keep doing things organically. It's the only way that we're going to save Mother Earth. Thank you, Noam. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you for coming again, Nathan. It's nice to see you again. Have a good day. Bye-bye.